Welcome to what might be the closer of set, what are we on? Set three, game four between Striker and Seriosity. Striker sweeping every match thus far. Striker in the upper right corner as the blue Zerg, bottom left hand corner. We have Seriosity as the pink Protoss. Once again on Fighting Spirit, part of Fighting Spirit Mania. And I have noticed that, yeah, Seriosity has, lay, has enjoyed playing a little bit cannon light. He has not, he's oftentimes skipped second cannons. And even though that Zealot was able to get a good trade at the 6 o'clock, Striker just running right by and slipping Zerglings through and wiping everything out just in an instant while Seriosity was a bit distracted. And so good. It's like, what do you even do? It's kind of like, yeah, what do you even do against that? I'm feeling for Seriosity. I really want to see him uh, pull something out. Still have not seen him uh, make any attempts at cheese. Maybe because this is supposed to be like the honorable long-term macro whatever. It is Fighting Spirit as well. I mean, it's a huge map. Pylon at the front. Going to go ahead and scout bottom right-hand corner first. Cross scout location. I believe you're seeing a nine pool this time. Instead of an over pool. Add a striker. Going for that drone extractor trick to pull an extra drone. To have a little bit of additional mining time. Or a little bit of additional uh, drones as that overlord's being produced. And that probe crossing that overlord field might reveal location right there. Second probe moving out to get that scouting bit. Forge. Morphing on the front. Is that morphing? What would you call this? Is it warping in? Is that what it is? Is this a warp field? I guess that they say like warp field stabilized and things like that, right? So there's an arbiter like... Anyway. Six Zerglings being produced initially, which should force two cannons from Seriosity. He is pulling a probe down to go ahead and build those initial two cannons. And he also has a probe in position to go ahead and disrupt that natural expansion. Not sure how long that's going to last. First cannon being produced. Actually holding back on producing the second. And it looks like the Zerglings are able to pin back briefly. But Seriosity going to try to maybe get it done with one cannon, a Nexus, and then a second cannon. Against six Zerglings. The Zerglings running across the map. It looks like they're potentially realizing that... Okay, Striker actually didn't send out a drone to get the scouting information. So just relying on the fact that Striker wasn't going to know location. Able to get that gateway in front. And this should be sufficient to go ahead and block the way. The Zerglings... Yeah, running. The first one's going to take a Photon Cannon shot to the face. Oh, the second one wiped out. So small... I think one of the few early mistakes we've seen out of this. And a pylon block from Seriosity, now getting a bit creative. The pylon blockade at the 3 o'clock location to slow things down. Let's see, is he going to can cancel the pylon as well? Doesn't cancel the pylon, so is happy to lose the 100 minerals just to create the delay. So, sometimes what you'll see Zerg players do is just build the hatchery, yeah. Build the hatchery off location. It delays mining time a little bit, but still get the larva out. And it's not late. It's just delayed mining. But small wins for Seriosity initially does end up in the red because of that pylon as that Nexus is coming online. Cybernetic score warping in on the front. Interesting play. Maybe to provide a little bit of sneaky info if the Overlord tried to dive at the main. In the meantime, Striker is going to have a little bit of a slow economic start because of this hatchery out of position, also that delayed natural expansion hatchery. He did produce six Zerglings off the nine pool opener. So things looking good for Seriosity early. Upgrading level one weapons. Once again, morphing to Lair. We'll see if he can... I assume he's going to do... I mean, we've seen him go four hatch play thus far across the board. Assimilator is online. Seriosity, I think, has this probe in position to go ahead and drop his Stargate. Never mind, going Citadel of Adun first. So wants to drop a Citadel of Adun, potentially get some sort of Zealot leg speed timing. Two Zealots moving forward to go ahead and clear Zerglings off the front. See if this pro uh, provokes additional Zerglings to be produced. Second hatchery at the 3 o'clock location, so we're already in 
a form of four hatch play. Strike a little bit light on minerals. The Zerglings regrouping. So this is going to be six Zerglings versus two Zealots. Oh, the Zealots not engaging initially and taking a lot of free damage there. Now Seriosity microing them, but loses one of the Zealots. And the second Zealot dies with just seven health left on that Zergling. Perfect defense. Another Zealot moving out. A second cannon preventatively now from Seriosity. So learning from mistake last match. Continue to produce Zealots. Getting a second gateway at his main. Citadel of Vadoon is up. No Zealot leg speed being morphed as of yet. But it looks like Striker has opted for three base Hydralisk. Zealot continuing to micro about and try to do some damage. Still hasn't gotten scouting information out of this. We have two drones at the 3 o'clock evolution chamber right there. We have what looks like kind of a lopsided count right there. But we've got 8, 10, so 18. So sort of, I mean, 973-ish territory if you wanted to press it. But the timing's a little bit late. And there's enough cannons to go ahead and potentially deal with a Hydralisk attack. <clears throat> I think that's wise on Seriosity's part. Just because he hasn't been able to push in and get a good look with these elves or anything else. The Zerglings have been able to press everything else back. Three gateways being plopped down. In the meantime, Zelt leg speed also morphing. Spines being upgraded. But I believe this is more for just a general defensive posture. So four hatch Hydra. I have not seen this build. I think there will be a fifth hatch momentarily once there's enough minerals on that front. The Zelt moving forward is going to in fact see that. Hydralisks then being produced. So it's five hatch Hydra. Kind of in a weird lopsided, uh, not a, just, you know, in different timing from it. Level one weapons now online. Zealot leg speed, two thirds finish, and a fourth gateway. So this is going to be a lot of Zealots. A lot of Zealots produced to try to deal with this. Lair is up. Phenomenized Carapace on the way. This works pretty well against. And so things working out well for Seriosity, because typically what you'll see 5-Hatch Hydra play against is the Corsair. It was really developed as a concept against the Cer D to mitigate Corsair DT. But if that ends up delaying Lurker Aspect, the Zealots in sufficient numbers with leg speed and level 1 weapons could do a lot of damage. Range being upgraded. To potentially have some Dragoons to follow. Templar Archives online. We do have a second gas here. A couple idle probes. And let's see if the Zealots can find breathing room someplace to do some damage. Striker is renowned. Both him and Hawk for their defenses at these various locations. Zealot wandering through. Finding Hydralis blocking the ramp there. Before not too long, though, Spines is going to be finished, and it looks like Lurker Aspect about halfway there. A drone pocketing itself at the 1 o'clock position to maybe grab a quick fourth base. But the Zealots now, 10 Zealots, marching across the field, looking for an opportunity. A 6 hatchery being planted there. Single Zealot wandering out, being engaged by the Hydralis. And so now there's air speed, but these are speed Zealots with level 1 weapons careening, just chasing these Hydralis back. Striker desperately trying to get back to his natural expansion behind that SimCity. Now plugging and blockading. So Seriosity going to reposition. It looks like he wants to try to run up this ramp, maybe get in the drone line. I think he's going to have an opportunity, an opportunity to do so. Lurker Aspect, I believe is finished, but the drone's going to get disrupted here at the 3 o'clock. Drone Drill engaging this. The drone's getting in the midst of this, and the drone's doing considerable damage here. Blockading these Zealots and allowing the Hydralis to do their work. The Zealots just getting all sorts of... I don't know that they even attacked in the midst of that. Having so much trouble dealing with the drone drill. I didn't even hear a single swack. So Seriosity losing a huge amount of Zealots there for nearly nothing. 1 o'clock base coming online in the midst of this. Some High Templar, it looks like some High Templar, Dark Templar out. Level 1 armor is going to be there. Pylon, Seriosity sealing himself in intentionally here. Maybe he just wants to do a trade to go ahead and open up this front door. A little bit harder of a front door here. Yeah. I like this. This is like the cannons attacking to depower themselves. And there's something weirdly poetic about that. I don't know. 
what to say. Six gateways, a dark archon behind this. Are we seeing a potential maelstrom? That'd be fun. Can work pretty well against hydralisks in large numbers, especially with size storm on top of them. So Seriosity being a little bit creative now. He has a Dark Templar in that bottom right-hand corner. No kills. Overlord might spot it already. And some Hydralisks just kind of creeping out to go ahead and see what Seriosity might be up to. Level 1 armor online, level 1 armor, level 1 weapons. Level 1 spines. A Zealot chasing that army out. But yeah, thus far, Seriosity about even in supply, which is usually not good... But what's even worse is, is having a drone count this high and this many ba bases saturated. Three additional hatcheries, sorry, two additional hatcheries being planted at the one o'clock base. So Striker, in short order, is just going to be able to flood the map with units very rapidly. And probably can play it off two bases. A bunch of lurkers morphing in. Could also maybe go for a contained situation with lurkers and hydralisks. It looks like some lurkers and hydralisks are making that way that direction. Potentially to cap on that bridge, but even if they don't, 58 drones, and Striker's spending it well. A Zealot sneaking through. Maybe he can get to that 12 o'clock. There's already some Hydralisks to plug that gap. Yeah, marching up. So that Zealot just scouting that that base is there. Now Seriosity starting to funnel troops out, but Striker already has a soft contain near that third. The Observer sees it kind of trailing. He needs to be careful. Dragoon, getting a little bit too frisky. It's going to end up dying. Seriosity trying to take position to go ahead and grab his third base in a defensive slot there. The Lurkers and Hydralisks are following him, and you can just look at this minefield here on the minimap, and it just looks like a minefield, doesn't it? Unbelievable amount of units right there. I don't know that Siri It's going to be a lot of dedication to break out of that. Probe... Going to grab that 9 o'clock base, but Striker is just happy to macro straight to 200 behind this. Some Dragoons and Zealots, unfortunately, taking the wrong route forward. Bit of an empty size storm there to the north. Seriosity realizing the situation, trying to push forward and clean this up. It looks like the Hydralists are going to be pushed back. Level 2 weapons online, by the way. Lurker is now moving up and trailing this army. Reburrowing the Observer picked off. Two of the Lurkers have been Maelstromed, but that doesn't stop them from attacking. I do not believe. Yeah, it just holds them in position. So now, the rest of this army going to get cut off from being able to retreat. Psystorm on grouping of those Lurkers, though, as they replant. It doesn't look like there's a follow-up Psystorm. Never mind, there's a follow-up Psystorm and Seriosity GGing. Because you realize he's not going to be able to stop Seriosity's, or sorry, Striker's huge army from just reinforcing and containing him. Two, three bases, and then just rocketing from there. So second series, sorry, third series goes to Striker again. And there's one more best of four between Striker and the next stage of Fighting Spirit Mania. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.